We're learning gruesome and disturbing new details tonight about a cartel-like shooting that killed six people in Goshen. These are the faces of the victims. Law enforcement from across the state is now joining together to find the killers who deputies say hunted down a young mother and her 10-month-old baby. What I have not seen is the very apparent murder of a 10-month-old child for no reason. What I have not seen is the very clear assassination style to the head of a teenage mother. Sheriff Boudreau earlier today. And thanks for joining us for Action News Live at 5. Good evening, I'm Juan Armstrong. And I'm Graciela Moreno. Action News reporter Nick Garcia joins us live from Goshen, where investigators are still pouring over the scene, searching for evidence. Nick. Yeah, that's right. Throughout the day, detectives have been walking in and out of the house here on Harvest Avenue where those murders happened. Tonight, the sheriff's office, along with federal agencies, offering a $10,000 reward to anybody who shares information that leads to an arrest in this case. I do want to warn you first, though, the details in this case are disturbing. Early Monday morning, a barrage of bullets inside and around a house on Harvest Avenue in Goshen. The gunfire so intense, neighbors thought it was an active shooting. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau clarifying he believes it was an execution. These people were clearly shot in the head, and they were also shot in places that the shooter would know that quick death would occur. Investigators say 16-year-old Alyssa Paras was running from the house with her 10-month-old Nicholas in her arms when the gunfire began. That the shooters stood over the top of the 16 year old mother and fired rounds into her head. The 10 month old infant also suffered from the same attack. The other victims, 72 year old Rosa Parras, 52 year old Eladio Parras Jr., 19 year old Marcos Parras, and 50 year old Jennifer Anaya. It is very clear that this family was a target and that there are gang associations involved as well as drug investigations with this in this home. But let me make this very clear. Not all these people in this home are gang members and not all of these people in this home are drug dealers. He says it's unclear if the murders are related to a drug cartel, but says there is a cartel presence in the Central Valley and detectives are working around the clock trying to piece together what happened. We will be slow, methodical, accurate, precise, and that we will make sure that when we make these arrests that this investigation for the victims, these people will be held to justice. Detectives will interview the three survivors of the shooting and are searching for any video evidence from the scene. The sheriff says because of his team's experience and dedication and the help of federal agencies, he's confident they'll track down the suspects. If you left our county, that's good, but you're going to be back. You're going to be back sitting in a jail cell awaiting justice. And again, that reward standing at $10,000 tonight, but the sheriff is confident that will increase. He says there will be even more money added to that reward offering, of course, to encourage anyone with information to come forward. And do keep in mind, you can stay anonymous if you want to share information with the sheriff's office. They're asking that you do so. Live in Goshen, I'm Nick Garcia, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you, Nick. The Visalia Unified School District is working closely with law enforcement to keep schools safe and families at ease. They're providing resources for the Goshen community following that tragic shooting. Sheriff Mike Boudreaux started, or rather shared in today's news conference that District Superintendent Kirk Schrum called him last night to discuss how they can work together to keep the community at ease this morning. Schrum says additional support was added at bus stations and stops across Goshen. Goshen Elementary School also had extra patrols. He says the victim, 16-year-old Alyssa Parras, was a former student and one that will be dearly missed. You know, we have amazing teachers within our system uh, and had an opportunity to speak to one who remembered, remembered her very well and, and uh, from, from being a, a student in the classroom. And I think just because our teachers work so hard to establish relationships uh, as they did in this case. And so, um, you know, she will definitely be remembered. Visalia Unified will provide resources such as counselors for students who knew the victims and may be having a tough time right now. Parents can also reach out to the district if they have any concerns.